Hello dear friends, nice to be with you again today. We're looking at the second half of Romans chapter 3. In that little chapter, Paul is telling us that every one of us has sinned. I don't know about you, but watching the footage of the Japanese earthquake and the resulting tsunami, I noticed that an awful lot of ships were damaged. Well, Paul is saying here in Romans chapter 3 that every one of us is on the same sinking ship with regard to our sin against God. I have sinned, you have sinned, we all have sinned. Paul writes, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Every one of us has missed the mark. We've come short of the standard that God intended for us. But you say, but I, I'm a good guy. Or maybe you say, Ray, well, you're a good guy. I'm not a good guy. And neither are you, dear friend. I'm a sinner against God. You are a sinner against God. Every man and woman and boy and girl is a sinner before God. You say, well, that's not very nice to hear. Well, I'm sorry, but I need to tell you what's there in the little passage before me each day. Paul says, there's not even one that's good. Does that surprise you? I don't think so. Because at the end of the day, the best of men are men at best. There's no such thing as the perfect man in this world or in all of history. In fact, there's only one and that is Jesus. He is the perfect man. The Bible says, in him was no sin. The Bible says, he did no sin. The Bible says, he knew no sin. The Lord Jesus was absolutely pure and absolutely perfect. That was why he could go to the cross and take upon himself my sin and yours. And Christ died for our sins according to the Bible. And so we find that there's nobody righteous, no one that does right and does good, not even one. So that means all of us are lost, yes. When we take it down to the nitty gritty, every one of us is lost. Every one of us deserves to be punished. And every one of us is on the road to hell unless something happens. And that something that happens has to come from God himself. You know, even if we try every day and do the best we can, we can't eradicate a sin. And then what about all the sins that we've already committed? We've turned over a new leaf maybe. But they're all still there on record. And there's only one way they can be blotted out. And that is through, you've guessed, yes, the blood of Jesus. Because Paul goes on to say, he goes on to say, that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, but we're justified, that is made right with God, brought up to the standard, freely by his grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. God has got a new plan, a new way of making us right and that is through Jesus. Through Jesus God sets the thing right and if we trust in Jesus God brings us up to Jesus standard. Some of you are doing exams and if you get a low mark that you'll feel. Well all of us 
in the exam of life, we've all got failure. But in Jesus, we can be marked up, not just to a pass mark, but we can be marked up to 100%. That's what it means to be justified. It's just as if we had never sinned at all. God sacrificed his son and believing in him, I am cleared. Isn't that lovely? I've been set free of all my sins. And that doesn't mean I should go and sin again. I know that I will. Because God's laws are perfect. His standards are 100%. And I will fail every day. But I can come to the Lord Jesus and I can say, Lord Jesus, live in me and help me to be righteous. Help me to be more like you. And as I give my heart and my life to Jesus day by day, he will help me to uphold the law, to uphold the standard, and to live the righteous life of Jesus as a man of God. Does that mean I'll be perfect? Never while I'm down here. To my dying day, I'll fail. But the wonderful thing is that when Jesus takes me up to be with him, then all my sins will be gone totally. I will be given a new body. I'll be given a whole new nature that doesn't sin at all. And so that's something to look forward to and something I can steer my life by. I can't reach the stars, but I can navigate by them on life's stormy seas. Thank you very much for listening today, for watching these videos. Trixie and I love you all very much. Bye for now.